Hi guys and welcome to something we haven't done in a very, very long time. This is a full silver squad builder. Now the reason I've done this is because this silver squad builder I'm about to show you guys is very competitive and smashes the fuck out of gold teams, which is exactly why I'm bringing it to you guys. It's going to cost you in the region around 50, maybe a little bit less, depending on if you can get the player. One of the players was quite hard to get hold of, uh, mainly because of the price range. There's not a lot of people want to sell them now. Now, if you guys do want any MSP, PSN codes, or cheap game codes, make sure you check out G2A.com. Their link is down below in the description, and if you use discount code B87, you get a bit of a discount off as well. If you could try and hit over 4,000 likes, that'd be awesome, and subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and let's get on and build this team. In the goalkeeper position, if I set it up correctly we have a very very nice goalkeeper we have Lux Lux is a very tidy uh, BBVA goalkeeper La Liga goalkeeper 79 diving 79 reflexes I enjoyed him didn't really concede many goals either considering um, did it well the defense was the reason why he didn't concede goals and you'll see that in a moment in the left hand side we right hand side sorry we do go Diakiti getting that strong link with Lux and on the right back position we do have another very very nice right back if it loads in, which it has done now. We have Suarez. Suarez is 83 pace and 82 physical. Sat in defence. That's all I wanted for him. Sit in defence with Diakiti. And he was matched with another decent centre-back, which is from the Serie A, which is uh, Kubali as well. And we did do a squad build with him early on. 86 physical. These two are strong motherfuckers. 75 pace as well. Pace and strength. That's all you need to knock off the fast, sweaty forwards. In the left-back position, we go with uh, Zuniga from... Um, from Napoli, getting the strong link with him as well. And in the CDM position, we start off a new hybrid link. We have November there. Now, in the right-hand side CDM position, this is summer. This is a formation which I don't really like to go near, but it was very, very effective. We have Rodriguez. Now, looking at Rodriguez's card, doesn't really look that special, but 75 pace, uh, 71 defending, 84 physical, another strong player. And Movember's very similar as well with 75 physical. But Movember's a very attacking player, and he did get a lot of goals from it. In the camp position, in the middle, we go with Quintero. Now... If you know Quintero, guys, you'll know how good he is. 87 pace, and that's all you need to know. 87 pace, 77 dribbling, and uh, four-star skills. In the cam position, to get the perfect link with November and get enough links to him, we do go with the 70-rated Fekir. Now, he, obviously, you guys know that he has got um, an inform silver, which you could put there instead, or an upgraded version as well, but we went with a silver to keep it a full silver team. In the cam position, on the right-hand side, we go with a 69-rated Mike Conley 80, um, 92 pace, all star skills, fun. You can't complain. And uh, that is the uh, very, very nice midfield defence and goalkeeper done. And to finish off, guys, we have one of the best silver strikers on the game, which I've ever played with. It, honestly, it's like playing with an Ibrahimovic and, uh, well, a black Ibrahimovic who's 74 rated. And it's none other than Arizala. Now, a lot of people have used him before. He gets a strong link with um, with Quintero and he gets a weak link with Liete and he is ridiculous. Four star skills, 87 pace, 78 physical and 73 dribbling. I played against a few silver teams, I played against a few gold teams and every single person struggled with Arizala's strength, pace and skill. And he's also got decent finishing even though he does have 68 shooting there. So guys, that is the unbeatable 50k silver team I've built for you. If you don't play silver guys, it's a shame because the silver scene is is completely dead on FIFA. It's a shame. Since FIFA 12, silvers have just died a sorry death and it's really, really fucking annoying because I enjoy using silver players. There's a lot of hidden talents. A lot of them are on show in this team and I recommend you guys go in to build it, have a play of it and feel free to tweet me what you thought of the team. So drop a like rating, guys. Subscribe if you're not and let's get into the highlights we did get with this 50k unbeatable team. So straight away, I thought I'd have a play with uh, Arizala. Ridiculous. Four-star skills, strength, and a decent shot as well. But the standout player in the team, actually, was Mike on Liete running down the right-hand side, and also Quintero. Um, I enjoy Quintero. I loved him back in FIFA 13, maybe FIFA 12. I can't remember which one it was, but he was ridiculous back then when he had five-star skills. But Arizala, honestly, is one of the most ridiculous strikers I've used on the game. Now, with Fekir and Movember, them two are very, very solid players if you get to use them. Movember's very powerful in his run forward. He's also got a very nice finish as well. 
with the defense. Actually, I'll talk about the uh, CDM on the right hand side because he is a very, very undercover player. We paid 1,000 coins for him. This team is probably really cheap compared to the 50k, but I'm going off the price band and it's right in the middle of it because none of the players we did pay maximum value for. Now, Rodriguez, 75 pace, 84 physical, knocked everyone off. In the defence, it was fast and powerful, and you saw that with the three cent two centre-backs we had, and also um, Suarez in the right-back position. Zuniga, if you've used the Serie A silver team, guys, you know how good he is anyway. 87 pace and 6.9 defending. Not bad at going up forward. But the C centre-backs uh, of Kuba Ku Kulibali and Diakite are very very strong very fast and uh, not going to get beaten on headers I played against Sturridge I played against Diego Costa and every time they were not beaten by headers from them and the goalkeeper as well pulled off some amazing saves 79 diving 79 reflexes which are pretty good for a silver goalkeeper so guys if you do go and sport this silver team let me know in the comments below what you think of it or even feel free to tweet me some results you did get also I build these teams to uh, match goal teams and uh, I went and smashed goal teams at left right and center and it's fun to do so guys if you enjoyed the video drop a like rate and subscribe if you're not and also feel free to let me know in the comment section below what um price bands we can do some more squad builders on do you want more silvers do you want some more golds and do you even want a bronze squad builder i don't know if you guys play the bronze and silver cups it's a shame because i couldn't play the silver cups and that's why i won't play the gold teams and i actually enjoyed doing it because i probably embarrassed a lot of people who thought they were going to win when they come up against the silver team but then they realized arizala is up front so guys drop a like rate and subscribe if you're not and we'll back another day another video for you guys to enjoy